This is America in Space, a weekly news and information program on current events dealing with the space industry. Welcome, and thanks for joining me today. I'm Don Meyer, Space Coast News Editor. When I was a kid, we were taught that our solar system had nine planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. In fact, until 2006, there was no definition of what constitutes a planet. That year, 2006, the International Astronomical Union voted on the definition of a planet and determined that Pluto no longer met the criteria and it was demoted to a dwarf planet. Here's a little bit more from National Geographic on what the definition of a planet is. While the eight true planets were discovered by the mid-1800s, Pluto was not spotted until 1930. Pluto, named after the Roman god of the underworld, was considered the ninth planet. But in 2006, Pluto lost this status. At the time, worlds similar to Pluto were being discovered deeper in the Kuiper Belt. This initiated close scrutiny of Pluto and the definition of a planet. The International Astronomical Union evaluated Pluto based on the characteristics necessary to be a true planet. It must orbit the sun, is not a moon, and has enough mass and gravitational pull to assume a round shape. However, it was the fourth characteristic that compromised Pluto's status, its inability to clear its orbit of debris. So, Pluto was reclassified and arguably demoted from being a true planet to a dwarf planet. Pluto's story represents our evolving understanding of the universe. There is always more to discover, and we are continuously reaching toward it. Neil deGrasse Tyson calls himself an accessory to the demotion of Pluto. In an interview with NBC's Lester Holt, Tyson states his reasons for classifying Pluto as a dwarf planet. Let's talk about a little respect for our, our little friend, Pluto. There are some who weren't convinced it was actually a real planet. I'm sorry, is my finger pointing at you? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Who's talking about it? <laughs> and it became a dwarf planet. Yeah. Does this, does this, is this going to elevate its status once again to full-fledged planethood? I, I was an accessory in the demotion of Pluto, but I, I didn't I pull, was leading to that. I, yeah, I didn't pull the trigger. We, we have other guilty parties there. Uh, there's one colleague of mine, um, who, in fact, his Twitter handle is, is in fact, Pluto Killer, and he's named Mike Brown at and Caltech. And he owns it. <laughs> so, so, yeah, don't, don't blame me for any of that. <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. Right, but Pluto revolves around the same sun that we do, so... It, it does. It, so, planet or not a planet? You're still, you're still trying to... <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying, trying to understand. To, <laughs> yes, it revolves around the same sun, but while it does that, it actually crosses the orbit of Neptune for 20 years out of its 248-year orbit. No other planet does that. That's embarrassing. If you're a planet, you should not be crossing other people's orbits, all right? We, there are objects that cross other orbits. They're comets and asteroids, by the way. They do that routinely, come into the, so the sun and back out. So... And do you know our moon has five times the mass of Pluto? Ow, see, you didn't know that. See, all the Pluto lovers out there, this is like suppressed information. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't it's know. all coming out now. It's all, just, just, just get over this, all right? So it doesn't mean it's any less interesting an object to study. I just want people to be honest and clear about what its properties are. So will Pluto remain a dwarf planet or is a new definition ahead? I guess we'll have to wait and see. I miss Pluto. Thank you for joining me, and thank you for listening from your home or where you work. And wherever you listen, be sure to like and follow us. Listen each Tuesday for This Week in Space with John Gomez. And join me every Friday for America in Space. From the Florida Space Coast, I'm Dawn Meyer, Space Coast News Editor for About Space today. Thanks for listening. Be sure to share our program with your family and friends and follow us on Facebook. Join us each week for news and information on America in Space.